Bubbles.com, your turn to do the banty. <laughs> what the hell? What is like? It's like some to... magic potion. It's more like you picked up the torch from the gun and threw it in my face. And like right now you're blind like Jean-Claude Van Damme in Bloodsport. <laughs> is he miming? <laughs> and then he kicked his ass Marcel out. Marcel Marceau. Um, NFL Weekly Banty, guys. Some things we're talking about uh, with the end of the season coming out. I want you to tell me, Willie Parker. Willie Mo Parker. He was leading the league in rushing. It wasn't going to last. He can't. Yeah, why not? He was like two Come up on. on. Man. He, he was two, two up, up on Ladanian. So, yeah, but he was leading. He had one carry and he and then he got injured. He's out for the season. Is this gonna affect the Steelers' chances? The Steelers had no chance with Willie Parker, so I'm gonna say <laughs> yes, it is gonna affect their chances without him. They have Najee Davenport, who's not bad. Who but sounds like him. a hot like African model. Like, like Najee Davenport. Didn't Najee give you a lap dance last night at, she the, did. at the Viper room okay, I want to hook you up with my friend Najee Dallas. <laughs> exactly. She puts out good. Uh, all I know is the home run threat of Willie Parker is gone. Because he's got the breakaway speed, whereas Najee, he's not really breaking away from anyone. He might run over a couple of fools, but that's about it. A couple of fools. <laughs> the Steelers have a lot of okay, problems bitches. going into the playoffs right now. Yeah, um, they have a lot of problems going in with, with Willie Parker. They're done. Yeah. Let's talk about... Uh, the Patriots, biggest story of the year, blah, blah, blah. They're one away. First of all, they're one away. Is it no brainer to take the next one? Don't just Are you guys it? ready to give me my due that when preseason time I said the Patriots were going to go 19 and 0? Can I get my love right now? Not yet. You guys laughed at me and like, ridiculed me I, and kicked dirt in my face. I got to check the tape on that one because I don't. I'm I not want you to check it. And I want our viewers to check it. Check it. First of all, they're going 17-0. 16. No, I was talking about the like first round playoffs too. Okay. <laughs> They're going 16-0. Is that a no-brainer? Yes. My next question is an interesting one for you. Does it matter if they lose in, this, in the playoffs? Very much so. So like, The season would be a complete and utter waste. Like you're, not, you're not bragging about 16 no, Let's say you're Larry Zonka of the 72 Dolphins. You're the only team with the perfect season right now. You won the Super Bowl. The cork is ready to come out, dude. The cork has been on ice for a long time now. I'm a little pissed right now. You know? And it's shaking, and it's shaking, you know? And that's some good champagne, too. And then it just explodes like a sexual volcano. <laughs> all right. All over Brian Greasy, or Bob Greasy. What's the, what's the thing? What's the question here? I'm Larry Zonka. You want the Patriots, you know, they're going to go 16-0 in the regular season, but you want them to lose in the playoffs, no Super Bowl, because you can always hold that over their heads. Like, yeah, they went undefeated in the regular Big season, time. but we won the Super Bowl. Let me tell you what I'm doing if I'm Larry Zonka. You're changing your last name. <laughs> to like Larry Charles. First of all, I'm making it easier to spell. Z-O-N-K. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Second of all, I'm calling Eli Manning. I think the pronunciation is Larry Zonka. Zonka. Uh, I'm calling Eli Manning, and I'm telling him. I'll pay you $500,000. There's something in for you and your boys if you win this game, okay? I think someone's coming in. Is it Larry Zonka? No, Larry Zonka, Zonka. 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 Alright, we'll have Larry Zonka wait right now. Um, you know what? They need to win. New York? Yes. I think New England needs to win too. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm out of proportions right now. Like, the pressure is on New England. The perfect season, but New York sucks. They'll take it. Okay, first of all, New England has no pressure. Worst case like the scenario they lose, doesn't matter. Big freaking deal. They got a lot of pressure off their heads. Okay? They're 16 and 0. They're gonna be 16 and 0. They're gonna cruise to the, uh, the they don't have to worry about first round. Upset schmupset. Let me tell you something. Tell me. I'm afraid of Jacksonville if I'm uh, if I'm going up to the playoffs and I'm the Patriots. That's the team you're to be worried about. Let me tell about. you the something. The Patriots too, but uh, I'm the scared Colts too. Of, the play, uh, of the Patriots. Who are you? You're the Patriots. I'm every other are you team. The Patriots and you're scared of yourself? I'm, I'm scared because I don't know my own strength, that's one. Uh -huh. And I'm scared if I'm any other team. I totally disagree. I totally don't disagree. Don't you ever disagree with me I mean, on camera. Don't get me wrong, it's a scary situation. Definitely scary. But the Colts, first of all, almost beat them and they actually blew it. That's one thing. That's okay. true. The Jaguars, that won't happen again. The Jaguars are playing their best football, if not the best football in the league right now. But they they're still like a A they minus. That's fine. The two-headed monster of Fred Taylor and uh, Maurice Jones-Drew. And let me tell you, what about their quarterback who's thrown like two picks on the year? 
And only seven touchdowns. And in <laughs> only five games, but still. You know, when he was injured, I understand that, but that team to be where they are with all the injuries and everything they've gone through. They're good. I'm not scared if I'm They're Green solid. Bay. Yeah, I'm scared if I'm freaking San Diego. I don't want to face them. I'm scared if I'm Pittsburgh. Okay, I'm not scared if I'm New England. Who is, which team are you afraid of the most? That's what I want to know. The New England Patriots. No, no, you're New England. Oh, Who I'm are New you England. afraid of the most? Dallas? Indianapolis. Or... Really? Yeah. Okay, uh, let's let the, the noise come into the room over here before uh, we continue. Quiet on the set! Quiet on the set! God, fire this person! Um, let's move on. Let's talk about um, let's talk about the NFC a little. Let's talk about, you know, Dallas... How boring is, is the NFC? Dallas has clinched. The uh, Packers are number two. They're both going to get a bye. Then you got the crap, you know. You got the team... Seahawks. Giants, Redskins, Redskins, maybe. Redskins, maybe Minnesota, maybe the Saints are out. Um, no, they have a chance. I mean, they need a lot of help, a lot of help uh, for them to. I don't want to see the Saints; in it. they don't deserve it. They don't. Uh, I want to see the Redskins in it. Although if this last spot, that'll be a bit of emotional story if the Redskins make it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, I'll, I'll be cheering for them. They have the angel above and Sean Taylor. And who knows? You know what crazy things can happen. I don't believe in superstitions and like you know ghosts and stuff like that. But, but do you believe in God? You know, it depends on the day. If things are going good in my life, I might. But if they're going bad, I'm cursing everyone I know. All right. All right. Good to know. Yeah, definitely. Hey, that's right. All it right. is good to know. Uh, let's talk about a couple of teams that are on their way out. And not just out, but down and out. Like the <laughs> Bengals. You know, these guys... Why are we even giving the Bengals airtime? Okay, how about the Lions? Would I give them airtime? <laughs> I think we've given the Lions enough crappy airtime. I was on that bandwagon. Two. That was my team. Two. I jumped on the Lions bandwagon. What a collapse. It hurt you so bad. Who hurt you? The, the Lions. The Lions. Uh, you know, a lot of the Eagles. I mean, look at the Eagles. I the Eagles I hate. I'm glad they suck because you know I hate Donovan McNabb. I apologize to the Eagles and all their fans right now because I, I, I sold them out. I threw them under the bus like McNabb did. And then next thing you know, boom, boom, they won a couple games. They're 7 Let me and 8. They win one more. Is this, eight and eight. is this the last we've seen of Donovan McNabb in an Eagles If you had ball? asked me three weeks ago, I would have said 100%. In fact, I think I did say 100%. But now, listen. He's led this team to a couple big victories. But once you get the Philly fans on the wrong side, you're done. You're done at that city. I'm going to about Philly fans and fans everywhere. They're we'll passionate. Have, they're short-term memory. Of we'll no, be. Philly is passionate. They're not like every other sports town. They like their players, but they'll turn on you. Oh, I disagree. I disagree with you. Oh, let me tell you something. A win, and boom, they'll forget about everything. No, because they're not making the playoffs. So this was a wasted season. If you're the Dolphins... Are you relieved that you've won one game? And are you looking to take yeah. one more? Yeah, definitely. A 2-14 and 14 season is way better than are a 1-15. Are people and completely forgetting about like, yeah. the catastrophe of a season that you've had all year? Definitely. And they locked up the number one draft pick. Let me tell you something. Yeah, they definitely locked it up. And lastly, you know, if Cleveland doesn't make playoffs... That's a waste. Who do I blame? Who do I blame on that team? I'm not blaming Jamal Lewis. Derek Anderson. Is it time for Kellen Winslow. Is time? Romeo Cronell. Does Romeo Cornell get fired? Is it no, I think time? <sighs> Romeo Cornell was on the hot seat before the season started. He silenced his critics for a while. Okay. Now, if they have this collapse, I'd say they're nine they might six. see him. If they lose and end the season nine and seven, that's still not a bad season. It's a winning season, but Cleveland is a good team, man. They should do some damage. You start Brady Quinn next year. Chase. <laughs> Let me translate that for you guys. That means yes. All right. Um, you got anything to add for our, our band team? I mean, the NFL season's coming to a close. We've had our ups, we've had our downs. More downs than ups. Yeah, okay. definitely more. Uh, for the fantasy football guys, you know, we probably ended last week. I did win first place, so I'll throw that out there, you know. Ooh, but tell them how you won first place. <laughs> A lot of schmoozing. Hey, buddy. I hedged. I hedged. I hedged. I made Let's a deal with the, the winnings. I made a deal with the second place guy, and I split the winnings. And then what happened? I pounded him. Doesn't matter. You're I got the trophy. Bitch. I got the trophy. I got a hundred bucks. I'm gonna buy a bit. Why don't you share the wealth with some of our loyal viewers? I'm gonna say anybody that signs up to on the buzzer, you'll send them a dollar. <laughs> say it. <laughs> All I know is. I got the hundred bucks. I'm gonna go buy uh, NHL uh, 2008 for my uh, PS3. It's funny you you play NHL video games, but you never once mentioned the NHL on this television program. Didn't you see my Capital jersey I was wearing the other day? Weren't we talking about the NBA during How that about time? When you whipped my neck with a with a belt when I had my helmet on, my NHL hockey helmet. Classic on the buzzer footage. Classic on the buzzer buzzer footage. Um, Try to say that three times. Uh, we'll see you next week for our weekly bandies. Playoff time, folks. Get ready. Playoff time. Are you breaking up? Break up!
Just leave. Just leave right now. Break yourself, fool. <laughs>